Hello everybody, my name is Roland Mastodon with Grey Owl Engineering. Today we've been talking about multi-phase pumping. One of the products that is dear to my heart is the Mass Transfer Pump, which is a product that I designed back in the late 80s in Saskatchewan when I was working for a major producing oil company. I had heard that different pumping applications for multi-phase were using different technologies and I thought why not use a downhole rod pump as a multi-phase pump. There's a lot of challenges along the way, but it became clear to me that this was a technology that could be adapted fairly well for, for multi-phase applications. Essentially, what we have here is a pump housing, which is built out of standard piping components, and we use a pump jack API gearbox with a crosshead assembly to provide our reciprocating motion. The stroke in these pumps is five feet. Maximum operating speeds are 15 to 20 strokes per minute, or RPM. And this is how the pump works. Inside the pump housing, we have a sleeve which contains a piston which reciprocates back and forth. At the bottom, we have our suction line and at the top, we have the discharge. We have two suction valves on both sides of the piston and two discharge valves, making this a double acting simplex pump. What happens here is as the piston is moving towards the left, the gas is being compressed on the left hand side. And as the gas compress, valve opens and the gas gets discharged from the pump. It's very important the geometry of pump which is common to any reciprocating or I should say most reciprocating pumps in that their suction valves are at the bottom and the discharge valves are at the top so the gas gets discharged from the pump prior to the liquid. As the piston is moving we're also oil gas and water is entering behind the, behind the piston. Now when we reach the end of the stroke, all the gas has been, or the majority of the gas has been displaced from the pump so that we have only liquid remaining in the pump, which is incompressible. So that as soon as we start to turn directions and the piston starts to move to the right, the suction valve can open and we can draw fluid in for the entire stroke. The advantage of this pump is that it is fairly simple in that it is made out of standard piping components, standard pump jack gearbox. It is slow moving and very rugged. The disadvantages would be that the volumes are somewhat limited because of the, sh because of the slow operating speed of the pump, but it is capable of high pressures, high temperatures, and very, very high gas pressure. 